Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Today I will be reviewing the Sculpt Fun S6 Pro Laser Engraver, which is also a cutter. So stick around because I've also got a coupon for Making Stuff viewers where you can get $30 off the current sales price. This is a review of the Sculpt Fun S6 Pro Laser Engraver. This is technically called a laser engraver, but it is capable of cutting soft material like thin wood and acrylic. At the time of filming this video, the current price is $329, but if you use the link and the coupon code in the description of the video, you can pick this up for $299. Now that coupon code does expire at the end of June, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about purchasing one of these machines. This is my honest review of this laser engraver, but for full disclosure, I'm letting you know that banggood.com did send me this machine to review. But, as you know, if you've watched any of my other previous reviews, this is my own opinion and it's not biased in any way. This laser engraver kit does come with some assembly required, which brings me to the first point that I'd like to make, and that is that this kit has very good instructions. The assembly manual has step-by-step -step instructions with plenty of illustrations that show how to assemble it. Each parts pack is also labeled for the step you're working on, and each piece is clearly labeled. It only took me a little over 20 minutes to assemble this machine. Once the machine is assembled, there's a second manual that you need to download from the Sculpt Fun webpage, which shows you how to set up the machine and install the software. It comes in PDF file format, and it too is very well done. And yeah, I know, I've made fun of plenty of uh, instruction manuals in the past, but not for this product because Sculpt Fun has taken their time and made an excellent manual for this so laser engraver. So now let's engraver. talk about some of the specs of this machine. This laser engraver has a working area of 410 by 420 millimeters, which comes out to about 16 by 16 and a half inches. It also has a five watt laser with a 0 0.08 focal length, which means that it focuses most of its energy in a smaller area, so you get better resolution and can also cut plywood up to four millimeters thick according to the Sculpt Fun webpage. The electronics for the machine are also mounted on the front and they are fully enclosed. I ordered the US version of this laser engraver, but the one I received came with a European plug, which was no big deal because on the power supply it says that it can handle an input voltage between 100 and 240 volts. It also has a standard three pin plug, like what you see on most power supplies and computers. So I just swapped the plug out for a US version and it worked fine. Once I got the machine assembled, I had to download some software in order to make the machine work. Now this laser engraver will work with a lot of different third party software. So that means it will work with both Windows and Mac computers. I chose to use Laser Gerbil because the PDF manual that I downloaded from Sculpt Fun had step-by-step -step instructions for setting up this software. I used a Windows 10 machine and I did have to install the driver before the computer would recognize the laser engraver, but this was very easy to do because there is a link in Laser Gerbil software to install the driver. Once the driver was installed, the computer recognized the laser engraver and I was able to start using the machine. One of the things I like about this laser engraver is that it uses a five watt fixed focus laser module. So that means there's no more focusing the laser beam to get the best resolution. This engraver is easy to set up. You just place your workpiece under the laser and use the included 20 millimeter aluminum spacer to set the height of the laser module. Once the laser is set to the correct height, you just tighten the screws on the back and that is it. The laser is set up and ready to use. The laser module also comes with this protective plastic that surrounds the laser beam, which makes it much safer than other engravers that lack this feature. This isn't meant to replace safety glasses. In fact, this kit comes with its own set of safety glasses and I'd suggest you still use those, especially if you're going to be cutting or engraving any type of reflective material. This engraver is an open frame engraver, so that means there is no enclosure to prevent the fumes from escaping into the room. I just used a fan and opened my shop door to help get rid of the fumes, and it seemed to work fine. I've also seen others build enclosures for these open frame machines to help capture the fumes and vent them outside, and also to contain any stray laser light that may escape into the room. I plan on building something like that for this machine, so keep an eye out for a future Making Stuff video. 
Once I had everything set up and installed, I was able to start using this machine to make some stuff. The first thing I tried was engraving some six millimeter plywood. I set the software to use six lines per millimeter and I also set the laser to full power. I was immediately impressed with the results because I was able to do some engraving that was almost one millimeter deep. This seemed to be too much power for engravings that have a lot of detail, so I tried it again and set the power at 50% and I got engravings that looked much better. Next I tried cutting some three millimeter plywood and again I was immediately impressed with the results. I cut out this little tree which took about 20 minutes to complete and since I was cutting through the wood I used the protective piece of sheet metal that came with the engraver to protect the tabletop surface and keep it from getting burnt. Once the machine was done, all of the little pieces just fell out with no effort. The resolution and detail were really great, which is not what I expected from just a $300 machine. After cutting some wood, I decided to try some three millimeter acrylic that I had laying around the shop. Again, the machine did quite well. I used the same settings as I did for the wood and it engraved and cut pretty much the same. I got the same cut quality out of the acrylic as I did from the wood. So next I wanted to try some anodized aluminum, so I got these little business card blanks off of Amazon. I also made a little jig here to hold the blanks, and I used the laser to engrave this pocket right here, and the business card blanks just sit in there right where they're supposed to, and I should be able to print a whole bunch of business cards here and just do the, repeat the process over and over again using this jig. All right, so after printing several of these cards, I ran into several issues and most of them was, it was just inconsistent results. You can see here this M, the top of the K and the G, they're a little bit darker than the rest of the card. This one, you can see the middle is darker than the outside edges. And I think I figured out what was going on with this. These cards are not perfectly flat. They're very thin and flimsy. And I think this one has a slight bow like this. Now I'm over exaggerating, but it, I think it's got a slight bow like this. And that would explain why the middle was darker than the edges. And I tried this on a really rough piece of painted aluminum. And I don't know if this will show up on camera, but you can see there's a little bit of a dip right here in the middle. And that U sits right in the middle of that dip. And you can see that it is definitely darker Right there, you can see the U is darker and the bottom of the F's are darker than the rest of the letters. So that kind of confirms that if you don't have a piece of ex extremely flat anodized aluminum, you're probably gonna have some issues using this engraver on it. So what do I think of the Sculpt Fun S6 Pro? Well, with the low price of $299 with the coupon, it would make a great entry-level machine, and it would also be great for somebody that doesn't have a whole lot of space in their house or their workshop to keep a larger and laser engraver. It's also easy to assemble and set up, and SculptFun did a great job with the documentation. It has a decent cutting area of 410 by 420 millimeters, which is 16 by 16 and a half inches. And the 5 watt fixed focus laser does a decent job of cutting wood and acrylic. The laser module is also much safer with the built in eye protection. I put the S6 Pro to the test and it was able to perform exactly like they described on the Sculpt Fun webpage. If you want to pick up one of these laser engravers for yourself, be sure to check out the link and coupon code that I have down in the description of the video. And remember that that coupon code expires at the end of June. If you like the video, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.